Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson. I'm an abstract artist and I want to do a demonstration um, in this video on how I make marbleizing papers. And my technique that I'm using is with shaving cream and this is actually Gillette. It smells incredible. And I'm going to show two techniques to kind of give you an idea. This first one is actually my favorite. Um, you have to shake the can quite a bit to get it nice and have it um, uh, come out in the consistency that you want. So give it a really good shake. And um, you can use any uh, substrate. I'm using a paper plate and I have my papers the size of the paper plate, but you can use something larger if you want, depending on the size of the paper you're putting down. The best thing I have found is a pallet knife to spread out the shaving cream. I spread it out to a nice, even, uh, flat surface, well, as flat as you can get. And again, my goodness, it smells good, so it's really a lot of fun working with it. I use Golden's paint because it's fluid. Um, two paints won't work because they're too thick. If you use um, other fluids, you can, but I use Golden's. I love the consistency of Golden's. I love the, um, the pigments. I'm using ultramarine brute blue, uh, turquoise, and gold. Here I'm just using the end of a paintbrush and maneuvering the paint around in the shaving cream. I'm trying not to leave any globs in there. Um, then I do a, a view from the top so you can see me um, moving the globs. I'm, I want to make sure there's no globs. You can leave white space um, on this first pool. I'm leaving more white space than you'll see later on in the second pool. I'm just adding as much paint as I think I might want to have in my pool, in my paper. And I'm just moving the paint. You can do any type of design that you want. Um, I, of course, like a very messy abstract, so that's what I'm doing. Now the first paper that I'm going to grab is a red rosin paper and um, I put it down in, tap the top, as much tapping and adhering as you can get the better. The more observant paper that you use, the best. If you use anything with sizing or coating, it's not going to work. You want it absorbent. You'll see me use watercolor paper, watercolor paper that I've already got a design on. Um, I've even done deli paper. Our tissue paper is kind of thin, but you'll see me use all those. This point is the fun and the magic happens. And get some paper towel um, so that you're ready. But you take a squeegee and you just pull that shaving cream off and the results is just absolutely beautiful. So here you see the design in the paper. This is the marbling and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm grabbing my plate back and I'm adding some more because you can keep going here. You don't have to wipe the shaving cream off the plate or the substrate. Now I've had other artists tell me that when they've bought marbling papers, they, um, they fade eventually. So these papers are not only going to be uniquely yours, but they're going to last. Here I'm adding some white into some of the spots there so it's not all um, the colored paint because by now you've already smooshed the paper down in it. I'm grabbing a piece of watercolor paper that already has a design on it and again I'm pulling it up periodically to peek to see if there's any spots. If there are I can dab it down in. It's okay to have spots because that just adds to the beauty. Here we use a squeegee again to pull the paint off and you've got a be another beautiful design. It's just a beautiful way to have papers that are so unique to you that nobody else is going to have them. Here I'm just adding some more of the ultramarine blue and the gold and I'm grabbing just a piece of drawing paper. You can use paper from your um, printer, but this is drawing paper. Mixing the paint in some more, making sure so there's no globs and I'm going to press the paper down in. You can see the absorbency of this because of the way you can see it, the color showing uh, through the paper. So I'm pulling it up. If I see a spot, I'm kind of dabbing it again to grab that spot. The gold on this is really pulling up on this one. 
Okay, we'll see the magic happen. Grab your squeegee. You can tell I make sure I have no more excess of the shaving cream. And that was one of my favorites I did. I just love that one. The paint just absorbed into that um, drawing paper. So now, let's see, what am I grabbing? Oh, I'm doing some, um, there's some deli paper I'm grabbing. And with this, I'm just splashing some more gold on it. Now this really absorbed. I think that's the deli paper and not the artist tissue, but the deli paper, there's a difference. One is a lot thinner than the other, which you can still use. Adds an unusual texture. And pulling that up. It's a lot thinner, so it's um, a little bit easier. Sometimes when you pull this up, it will fold on itself, so you just have to play with it. There, I'm laying it out. Again, that just grabbed the gold, and it really looks beautiful. Doing the swipe. Gold is real shiny on that paper. That was the deli paper, I'm sure, because it's not as thin. Okay, let's see what I'm adding. I'm still, what am I on my fifth one? And I'm just using the same shaving cream. At this particular point, you might decide to clean off your palette and uh, start over, but I'm, I'm just gonna keep going here because I feel like I'm on a roll. Actually, I added some white into that one and um, just to see, you know, what picks up. Uh, if, if there's no, if it's the white shaving cream, you're gonna get a spot, especially if it's a white paper, it's gonna look white. But since I've added white down on there, um, it's going to pull up some of the white color. Looks like I'm having a little more trouble um, getting the spots filled on this one. Doing the reveal. Now one thing to remember is take a look at your color wheel and make sure the colors that you're using are going to be complementary to each other. Because when you're doing this and you're mixing the colors, if you're mixing like red and green, which are opposite on the color wheel, you're going to get mud when you do this. So. All right, I am going to do a second demonstration of using the foam Gillette um, shaving cream. Now this demonstration will give a little bit different uh, look. This is just a tub of water. And what I'm going to do is break the foam up in the water a little bit more than having the peaks. So we're going to break it over the water. It stays, it floats to the top. Anytime you can get just different aspects of your papers, your handmade papers. It's great because every piece is going to give an additional fun look to your um, project. Again, I'm going to use the um, Golden's Fluid Acrylics. Again, it's a little different type of a look. Go 
going to swirl it with patterns in here. I sque I'm squeegeeing off if, if, any, if this is off camera. So there you have another type of a um, marbling. I can again move this around. I can add a color if I want. Drip in some more gold. some swirls. I'm going to add some of the red rosin paper. I'm going to pull it right out of the paper, I mean the water. This is a different look. This is some of the paper did not make contact. But look at the swirls in that paper. Beautiful colors. You just won't get any place else. Okay, I'm going to use a paper that I've already um, painted on. I am going to add, let's see if I can get some copper out of here. Let's see if I, can. I kind of went too deep on that, <laughs> so um, that's okay. Let me swirl. If the paint is heavy, it will swirl down in there. some burnt sienna. Let's see if I can get some of this to come out. Some of it's layering on the top. And I'm liking the lines in here. And the dots. So let's see what kind of print I can get off by just leaving the straight lines. Dip the paper. Just do the swipey. The uniqueness. That was a paper that was already done. Now I'm going to try a um, sheet of deli paper with what's there. The paper has to be porous. If there's any sizing on it or any anything on the paper that is going to cause the paper to not absorb you're going to have a problem. Now there's a very light pattern that you're going to get 
on the deli paper. I'm going to try some art tissue. This art tissue is very, very thin. Don't know quite what I'm going to get with this one. Sometimes I experiment. is going to stick together, but I find just throwing some of these um, papers that have even stuck together and gotten dried up gives a very unique texture. So don't be afraid to try something so different. Now this is, this is all sticking together. In fact, it's falling apart, but when that dries, you can still add pieces of that to your artwork. Let's see, let's just try one more and then I would at this point dump the water and try again. Okay, this picked up exactly what I had. I had a very deeper spot down on one end and lighter on the other. So the first dip we did was the best because the foam had not dissolved. But you can see adding several of these papers together, you're getting the same tones of color because they're the same. But you can see just adding and putting these together is, is gonna be fun. I personally like the other method, um, the first method where the foam, it was just the foam and no water, um, if you remember because you got much more defined, um, like the gold didn't sink as much. But you can see the two together. You can add such a uniqueness to your paintings. So I hope that was fun.